Hello and welcome to Unusual Radio with Tanya. And as you can see, Ed is now back. That's not my Texas tan. That's my Jersey tan I brought with me. Really? Yeah. Really? really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Hello, yeah. Glenda. That's right. I went there. Glenda, how are you? Yes. So, yes, he's finally back. And I still don't have my tank top. I just, Oy vey. I just thought I would mention that. You know. Hello, April. So, okay. Now, I would like to know. Okay. This stuff is really good for you. But you really have to get used to the taste. Let me know if anybody has tried this. Suja. Wasn't that a song? Soldier boy. Soldier. Soldier. Anyone? Soldier. Okay. Now, it has cucumber, celery, grapefruit, Ooh. fruit, green chard, green leaf, lettuce, lemon, kale, spinach, um, something that I can't read some of my glasses on, parsley, and mint tea. Now, what I taste when I have this is like cucumber skins. And you know they're a little bitter. Let me just tell you. Now, what was that other stuff, that beet stuff that I drank today? What was that? Where was that from? Um, it was, that was beet? Ono Bowls oh. in Westfield. O-N-O Bowls in Westfield. Really good. Now, what, what was Very it? Good. It was beet, um, ginger, and celery? Beet and celery, and I think it was ginger. Yes, it was, actually, because yes. I remember. Very, very good. That was really good. That was awesome. Like, they make everything, the juices and stuff there. They make them right there, three-day shelf life. Yep. Um, so I have my celery one for the morning, and I have which these. We, which I just picked up new. Mm -hmm. I have these. And then my friend told me that they have something at Costco, so I stopped. And that was it. And I tried some. It's very cucumbery and celery -y. No, it tastes like a cucumber rind. Let's get it correct. Well, maybe, but. So, yeah. If you want to be healthy, get this, because there really is really good stuff in here. Yeah. You're but... just really going to have to get used to the flavor. And mm -hmm. I was, I've been sipping on this for the last couple hours. But then I brushed my teeth, and then I came up here. Bad idea. Yeah, not something you want to do. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. So, anyway. I just thought I'd see if anybody has had that. So, April, where is Robin? Your think, other half. Isn't Robin on business? I don't know. I have no idea. Hello, MJ. I'm just making... Oh, I just invited MJ. Did you? Yes. Stop slamming. Oh, am I slamming? You're slamming. Am I slamming You're like sl a bamming, like a jamming? Like, remember, I hear a little extra in here. Hello, sure. Joe. Hi, Joe. I did invite Joe, too. He nice. came on because I invited okay. him. Okay, so anyway, it's currently 76. feels a little humid. Um... Tomorrow's going to be thunderstorms and 86. So it's probably going to be humid here again. 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 So, yeah. What? Robin is making her some money. Oh, nice. Is he pole dancing? I mean, seriously. You can make money at that if you're as hot as me. This is my money maker right here. Really? <laughs> it looked better you, in person. You were you were really getting into it. Yeah. I, yeah, I could see that with your face. better in person. Yes. Okay. So, Ed. Yes. Aren't you gonna you know tell everyone about your exciting trip? My trip was exciting. And about you being in the, in the back with the hookers and shit. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really in the back with the hookers. Hello, I was Kev. in the alley in Dallas. Hey, Kev. <clears throat> um, no, see, you were in the alley, and I said, don't be picking up any hookers or gigolos. Because you, cause you kept telling me everything is bigger in Texas. That's right. So that leads That's me to believe me. that you are finding out certain things that are possibly bigger in Texas. Well... 
Let me tell you something that wasn't bigger in Texas. What's that? Little Eddie. <laughs> I thought that shit would grow. But apparently it does not. Okay. So that means I can go out there and maybe just by visiting I can get a reduction. It'll just come off. No. It doesn't work that way? No. Well, you said you were smaller, so. I didn't I say I was smaller. I figured, it just didn't get bigger. I just figured that maybe these will go away. Uh, Kev already busted my balls. <laughs> I brought nothing back for you, hon. Nothing. 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 Thank yeah, you, Kev. I, Thank you. Yeah, it's in process. It's on its way. Oh, okay. And when did you order this? So, uh, so MJ, glad, why are so you freezing, glad, MJ? Why are so you freezing, glad MJ? You're get that we have a new airport. subject here. Yes. We have yes. a new subject. Do, 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 MJ's do, do, freezing, see? and I want to know why. Do you see how he's trying to change this? Um, yeah, it would really be nice if I had my tank top that I could actually wear. You're wearing one. My Texas one. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, we discussed this. Um, Picture of Vin Diesel. Why is he live in Dallas? I mean, whatever, Plano. I don't know. Question: Why? Who was going to get you a picture of Vin Diesel? <clears throat> or is that short for Vinny Diesel? I. The bar owner in Brooklyn. I don't know. She's freezing. She doesn't say why though. I don't know. It's freaking hot here. Okay, like really hot. And everyone who knows me knows I normally like heat. I don't like the heat. It wasn't bad in Texas. They were last year. It was brutal that same week, mm -hmm. but this year was not. In fact, in Jersey, two weeks ago was much worse than what I had in Texas. And I worked in Jersey that weekend, and it was that ugly. Was, that was horrible. That was brutal. 102, 103. Just not right. It's not right, I tell you. Okay, so now we are. We actually. April sending you an Oklahoma shirt. Nice. Thank you, April. Yes, Stay thank you, April. Um, uh, hold on. He travels the world. All right, but was he in Texas oh. when I was in Texas? Hold on. Wait, hold on. One sec. One sec. One sec. I got to put my high wear on. Oh, he's your husband. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you, Kev. Your doll. Uh. Thank you, Glenda. It's the, my nasty juice. Hi, Di, and <laughs> Hello, it's Di. Not, it's, it's good juice. It, you just really got to get used to it. I'm used to all the other ones. This one's new. That's why I'm just bringing it up because I still have my other green goo and the other stuff. But this is supposed to be really, really good. Hmm. It's <clears> really, <throat> really hard to get used to. Just saying. So... So, Diane, we are now officially ready to go out of this country. We can go abroad now because we both got, I renewed my passport and she has one now. That's right. I'm ready. Okay. You renewed your passport okay. with the help of who? Spedwin. Spedwin? <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck does that mean? Spedwin. My little Spedwin. Uh, uh. Which bottle, Kev? You got uh, you got Gentry's in the gra uh, grape Gentry's. You got that. This. That uh, organic cold press suja boy. Uh, that is actually not water. It's bad. It is. It's really good for you, but it's Smirnoff root beer. Float. Here, cheers. Ting. Ting. So. And this would be my screw me driver. You really got to get used to the bitter. Maybe I should put some ginger in that. Ginger, 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 so, ginger. Okay. Um. Uh, MJ says it's freaking cold. What you mean? My nipples could cut glass. What do you mean it's cold? It's not cold here. Are you at work like in a walk-in freezer and did you get stuck? Should I call 911? Or 411 to get the info. <sighs> okay. Now, are you going to start talking about the anal piercing? <sighs> well, would you like to hear anything else about the trip? 
we're, we're actually going to come back to that because, like, okay. you're, you're flim flamming. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, according to Wikipedia, anal piercing is Hold a. It. We were actually going to discuss this on Friday. But. Yes, we were. Yes, but Andy did not want to discuss the anal thing. So, no, and we spent two hours on the show without discussing it. Yes. So now we're back at it. Go ahead. So uh, it's a body piercing in the surrounding area of the human anus, usually the perineum. Oh, watch the puh. Oh, sorry. It gets so excited with <clears throat> the puh. So the anal cavity itself, right. despite the name, piercing of the anal sphincter itself is rare. Uh, some people do. That pi excuse me, that picture that I saw, that was like right in the bungage. No, it was that directly in between the pussage and the bungage. No. The vajage and the bungage. No. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Where is it? Uh, I'm going to have to. It's okay. probably on the Wikipedia Easy page. Easy anyway. with the puh. I'm sorry. Okay. That one picture mm. that just popped up, I do not, do not pull that thing up. I know you got to read the story. I I'll just, read the story. So I just, I just don't want to see it. Anyway, so now when I was reading about it, some of the things that I wrote was um, some people have had it ripped out because you're supposed to take a bigger section and some people do a smaller section and then it gets ripped out. Now, for one thing, if you're going to pierce your bungage and you've got doo-doos coming out and whatever happening, you can't tell me that's going to be clean. You can't tell me that's not going to get infected. Nope. Okay, I don't care what anybody says. You're poking holes in the bungage, something's going to happen. Yes, it is. That's all I'm saying. You go to wipe, you either hook that thing and rip it right out, or it gets on it and it doesn't get cleaned. You better have a uh, bidet. <laughs> Did you say good day, my friend? I said no, bidet. Now, the see, squirter. No, you know what I would do? I would just be like, oh, Ed, can you please come clean my anal ring? <laughs> and I'd be like, I would be like, like yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Here, let me get my toothbrush. <laughs> so Wait, uh, 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 oh, let me clean it again. You are so wrong. You hey, are so wrong. Who brought this up? You are so wrong. Okay. Mm. So you have an increased chance of infection due to that whole visual yes uh in the united kingdom the minimum age for anal piercing is 16 which was enacted in the sexual offenses act of 2003 so i guess giving someone that who's 15 is you're now i don't know first of all if you're going to do that to a, anyone under 18 you're a pedophile <laughs> Thank you. yes. and here's an unknown fact relatively unknown i certainly didn't know it Historically, and I take it they mean back in the 15, 1600s and prior, mm -hmm. anal piercing has been used as a form of humiliation. Because naturally, after you got anal piercing, they would make you walk around naked in a town square. Like, who the hell would know you have it? Okay, that's kind of like the woman who, who dangles the GG balls from her hoo-ha. Okay? It's like the same thing, only you're piercing your butt. What did they have hanging out? I mean, it had to be nasty back then because you know it's not like they were doing anything to ease the pain so if they're going to be plugging something around your bung then there's got to be something sticking out that's going to humiliate you oh that is so disgusting why do i keep i, I that scrolled picture? up so that it's gone oh that is so disgusting mm. <clears throat> yeah mm. okay anyway uh continue with that this story coming up is actually really funny really funny I couldn't even imagine. I would vomit. But then uh, again, I wouldn't <clears throat> have the job. Right. So, so this person... Uh, Easy with the puh. Easy with the puh. I didn't even know I did a puh. You did a puh. Sorry. <laughs> First of all, we need to get over the fact that anal piercings exist. They do exist. Secondly, we need to understand that in order for a piercing to happen, an anus has to relax. And what happens when you add one traumatic experience to a relaxed anus? <laughs> Disaster, with emphasis on the ass. <laughs> so Reddit actually came up with this story, uh, although I see it here on Uproxx. Um, 
the guy, uh, the, some guy, let's see, goes in to get a anal piercing. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it's graphic, so, you know, we already lost a few people on the viewing, just so you know. <laughs> uh, just the fact that we were even discussing anal. <laughs> so, um... Oh, they always come back when they want to hear something juicy. So okay. this person had been a piercer for um, several years at the local ta tattoo parlor. And I've and uh, has seen people do simplest things like eyebrows, cartilage, uh, oh, also God. things like dick, clit, and ball piercings, and even, even anus piercings. But he only did two anus piercings in six years that he worked there. This guy comes in, says he wants his asshole pierced. Uh... The piercer wanted to laugh, but put his professional face on and said, uh, sure. And here's the prices and answers his questions. They get to the piercing room, and he was told to pull down his pants and get on all fours on the table, <clears throat> which is already bad enough. Mm -hmm. uh, now he's trying to get this guy to position his cheeks just right so the piercer can get to the a-hole, which probably has hair on it, too. Uh he finally gets him to spread his ass cheeks apart, and he gets his needle. The guy is getting really nervous, so he told the guy, the customer, the client, don't tense up, man. Just relax. It's only going to take a second. Just relax your anus. Don't tense up, or it will only be worse. Now, quick intermission to remind everyone that it's still not too late to turn back. So if you'd like to mute your button for about 60 seconds, go right ahead. Da, na, na. Okay, back to the yes. story. I have my fit my face. He had his face right up to this guy's anus, and he's about to pierce him. And I say, "Okay, here we go." Two seconds after I get the needle in, he blasts shit all over the guy's face. I, he, I, he starts screaming like a motherfucker, trying to wipe shit off his face, and the client starts trying to stand up, but the needle is still in his ass, and he screams bloody fucking murder. My boss run in, runs in to find his boss. I, I'm reading it. It says mine. His boss runs in to find the, the, the guy the pup, the pup. Find, to find see. the uh, piercer wiping shit off his face. And this poor fucker screaming and crying with his pants down. Mm -hmm. After the piercer got cleaned up when we got the needle out of the client's ass, I said or he asked, why did you shit on me? And the client said, very embarrassed. He said, you said to relax my anus. I'm so sorry. He will never pierce another anus again. <laughs> um, and on a semi-related note, he also recommends that you do not Google anus piercing because he promises that will probably ruin your entire holiday. This article came out on December 22nd of 2014. So, anyway, pretty uh, nasty. Hey, Robert. Hello, Robert. I don't think Robert's moved yet, right? Or did you move already? He's he's in. You're out there looking or something. No, he's working right now. He's working out there this week or something. So he's work. He's back and forth until yeah. he finally gets a place, and then. Yes. Mm. Well, I hope that goes quick. Yes. So. Okay. So, are there things you'd like to know about anal piercing? Anal piercing is now, a bit like tongue splitting. Now, does anybody out there have an anal piercing? My bung itch is clean. There is no piercing. And there will not be a piercing. <laughs> yeah. The only piercing I had to have is if I fell on something that was very sharp and it went through. Wait. You can bend over. I can... uh, yeah, see, he'd probably enjoy it too. Hey. <laughs> How do you know that? Because you're Ed. Uh, all right. Fair enough. So, um... Anal piercing is like tongue piercing. We all thought it was impossible, or at least a very bad idea, until one person showed one off, and then everybody wants one. What? If I was at a party, male or female, you bend over, and you're going to show me, me, some kind of a, something hanging off of your bungage, that is not going to make me want to get one. I'm going to be like, dude, you need to cover that shit up and walk away. You're probably going to stick your pen through it and pull both sides of the pen. No. Rip it out. I'm not going next to somebody's anus. Hmm. Well. 
Okay. So carry on. So um so they interviewed this guy, Travis. He's a 30-year-old white-collar business owner. Rather mainstream looking when you first see him, but he does have a few genital piercings and rather by accident found himself with an anal piercing. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that's by accident. I really don't. That's like, I mean, were you getting a ball piercing and, and the guy slipped and said, well, it's in your ass instead. Well, I'll take that. No. Mm -mm. Oh, here you go. Here's how oh, he this, got it by this, accident. This, this is the one that I was reading. Remember I said that there was a bunch of these different guys who had it done? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So apparently I now I... I that peas. Oh, apparently. Okay. I should turn this over. Are, are the peas coming out very loud for you out there? Because the, it's, like, it's like he's doing puh right in my ear. That. Thomas, how are you? Hello, Thomas. We agree with you uh, on this subject. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently <laughs> Travis had a gland that became infected. He developed an anal fistula, which is an infected tract inside the body with one end exiting inside the anal canal and the other externally near the anus. So they could be treated in a number of ways. They could be cut out by inserting a rod and literally what? excising along its length. They could be glued shut internally, hoping they'll drain out and heal, or they could be tricked into rejecting, which is what happened in his case. Mm -hmm. So apparently he was pierced mm -hmm. under uh, general anesthesia to, to correct this thing. So whether he kept it or not, I have no idea. And he said it was one of the most painful things he's ever experienced. Well, gee, you know, if a hard poo comes out, you know, like your bungage hurts. So what do you think if you're going to be sticking a needle in your bungage? Do you think it's going to feel like someone's down there with a little French tickler? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> nope. Unless you're one of those people who have, like, the chain from the balls to the bung, to the pee, to the nipples you know and people who have the whole setup right well he only did it because of this thing it was a way of healing this this fistula and uh he had it for six months it finally fell out on its own and left a nice scar that also took a while to heal <clears throat> and uh his advice for anyone who wants to get an anal piercing is don't do it the area is really dirty and the risk of infection is very high what did I say? right right here Nobody listens to me, though. I keep saying it. Nobody wants to listen to me. Mm, yeah, he says it's not like your ears or penis when it will, where it will heal quickly. This, I think, is also the one that has, uh, where it's talking about it got ripped out. Mm. Uh, then you got a 54-year-old brewer from the UK. Who'd met a friend with an anal piercing? He loved the erotic look of it and wanted to know what it felt like himself. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, what do you do? You go into a back alley? Let's see. Uh, he found a male nurse who was willing to do the anal piercing. Mm -hmm. A speculum was inserted into my arsehole, as they say in England, mm -hmm. and expanded. This then allowed the sphincter to be open so a needle could be inserted for the piercing. He was used to relaxing his sphincter muscle. So it wasn't an unpleasant experience, and he experienced no problems. Uh, it would go through the, the piercing would go through the outer sphincter as this would help to prevent leakage. Once the ring was inserted. Oh, remember I did say there was one where they leak too. Yeah. yeah. It's just not a good idea to get an anal piercing, people. Okay, just listen to me. Yeah, uh, and he said this guy he said he had no problems with the healing. Um, it took a little longer than some of the other ones, but it was possibly the easiest piercings to heal of all his piercings. Right. <clears throat> Yeah. There was a slightly different technique he had to use after he sat in the toilet, but this was soon mastered. 
Uh, he used the saline solution to wash his anus after using the toilet. It's also very important to avoid constipation as this can put an excessive strain on the piercing. Well, how do you avoid it? If you either get it or you, you know, you got to get rid of it, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so he went back a couple months later to have the piercing stretched. Uh, Why would you stretch it? To... Oh, put something bigger in. Something bigger in, bigger, yes. Oh, mm. no. But the that's... same diameter as a smaller ring. So just mm. a larger ring, but the same diameter. No. Uh, no. Uh, Some things you just should not do. Yeah. There are... He is extremely happy with it, though. And on a day-to-day -day basis, he hardly notices it. Uh, mm. As far as sexual feeling, he finds it increases the awareness of his anus... And if penetrative sex is practiced, I'm very conscious of the movement of my partner's penis as he thrusts and then withdraws. Both he and I have found it enhances that side of sex. If a PA is worn, prophylactic, I guess. Is yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. He doesn't, well, he hasn't used them, so. Anyway. <laughs> What's all this? Robert, fucking thank gross. you for the welcome back there, Robert. Yeah, but you're right. What is wrong with people? It's yes. kind of, you know, mm -hmm. it's a little effed up. Well, I was starting to say when Andy was here Friday, um, you know, there's just so many things like that I was reading about, you know, the leakage and then you have to, you take it if you don't, that's like certain things, putting it in different spots of the anus or something. I don't know, but it's just, no, thank you. I can do with that one. I don't know to do with that one. Yeah, we don't need none of that. No. Ain't got time for none well, of that. I think you want it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I that's no, I, no, I don't, I don't. That feels good. I want that. Yeah, it's like really cold because it's hot up here. So I'm keeping myself cool. This guy uh, loves it and says he doesn't want to remove it. Uh, and if he does remove it, he thinks species will get into the opening and then uh, cause problems. It's well healed. Oh, because nothing's going to go in there now. Okay. No. It has to be done right or there'll be permanent, possibly permanent damage to the sphincter muscle. The mm -hmm. piercing can migrate. And it could cause incontinence if it works its way fully out. Uh, there's also a chance there could be a constant weepage of fluids. I guess that's an English term for leakage. He had, okay. to, he had to wear so, an absorbent pad for a while. Okay, so what else are we going to discuss this evening? Uh, I don't I, know, but I'm going to close this window I if that's okay. Say, I, I think I'm about okay. done with anus. With bungage. A little too much bungage going on. Actually, uh, I think Robert's got a good point. What? He says uh, instead of that, he'll go walking around with the jaws of life hanging off his balls. <laughs> I, I think uh, you have a very excellent point there, Robert. I think that would be much, much nicer. Yes. I agree. Now, okay, I want to, like, when it comes to, like, stuff like that, okay, now, you know how I... When I was saying how people get the nose rings and everything, and the cuckoo rings and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now if you blow your nose, you're gonna get snot in there. Okay, so what happens if you have a wet fart and you got one of them? Then you're gonna have danglers on your little anus ring. That's just what I'm saying. Could be. That's why you need a bidet and saline and a very loving person that will wipe your ass. Really? Uh, Troy was asking, can you even shit with an anal piercing? Yes, you can, because it's actually not Who was? in the anal cavity. It's just offside of it. Oh, uh, hi, Troy. Troy. Hi, Troy. Yeah, I, I... It's the wiping and the do, doing a good wipe job that's going to be potentially uh, tough and dangerous. No, I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit dangerous if you... What if you hook it? Exactly. What if you're pinky? No, hold on, hold on. Now, what if you're with somebody who has either the jingle balls pierced 
or the ding ding appears. Yeah, I was thinking that the same thing. Okay, what if they get tangled up? Then that's gonna hurt. And it's just not a good idea. I'm just, I don't, I'm looking at this and I try to look at everything, you know, differently. I'm not really seeing a really good outcome on this. <laughs> I just don't see it. That's just me though. Yeah, it's uh, what? It's bad. I I I just can't even imagine why somebody would think of doing that. I don't know. What about piercings under the armpit? Really, is that a thing? Mm -hmm. I guess it would be. I mean, why not do it anywhere else? Yeah. So, who would want an armpit ring or whatever? Don't know, I uh, but it does look like Thomas was one of the folks that left. Okay. Because he said, "Later's." <laughs> he did not want to discuss this or listen to us discuss it or listen to me teach you all about how to do it and why you should not do it. Um, what do you call it? So yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Anybody out there? Would you get a pit piercing? Hmm. Now you figure. You got to shave it, or if you wax it, I'm saying, you know, depending on the person, you know, it's got to be maintained. And then what about deodorant? Is there like a period of time that you can't use deodorant because you have the piercing? You know, then you're going to turn around and get all stanky. That's just my thought. Now we take the deodorant. I'm just answering Thomas that we're done with that subject. So I'll hit enter as soon as we are actually done with it. I'm talking about pit piercings. Oh, okay. Where, where have you been? I, you did say uh, pit piercing. Uh, yes, you did. So I'll close that window. And now, back. Yeah. I would also have to think that anyone who gets like a, you know, the cartilage piercing thing in their ear. I would think that would have to really hurt. A cartilage piercing? You know, like, I, I could just hear it go, ka -ching, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, I think that would freak me out. Okay. Just me. Maybe well. I'm wrong. I guess I'm not very adventurous that way. Wow. <laughs> You know, which is fine with me. <laughs> maybe. Call me a bore. Call you a what? A bore. Oh, a bore. I was going to say, if you put an H in front of that or a W in front of that, I am going to. It's actually try. a W and an H. Yes, I know. I didn't do it. I just asked what you said. Oh. I have shit in my ear, so I wasn't sure. Oh. What did you do with my crop? I was in Texas. I didn't do shit with your crop. What did you do with my crop? Last time you accused me of that, it was in the bottom drawer. No, it was up here. The last time you accused me of taking your crop, it was in the bottom drawer. It's not drawer. in the bottom drawer. Well, then look elsewhere. It's not in here. What did you do with my crop, bitch? Uh, I think... Uh, do my crop, I bitch. think Andy took it. Probably. Andy took it so he could either get his ass whipped or... He's going to whip someone. Right. Mm -hmm. April says she has a uh, cartilage piercing. Did it hurt? And was it like really noisy when it went ka-ching? <clears throat> Why don't you call in and tell us about it? Yes, we should. 732-560-4398. Feel free to. That's usually my a jingle. sex inquisition line, but tonight it'll be the call-in line. Yes. <laughs> which I actually called in three times last week. You did. Just because I'm that kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm almost done with this. With what? With that? You want me to finish it? I could dump it in my drink. It might be good. No. I can't do, I can't do oh that. Oh my that God. It's pretty ugly. Pretty weak attempt. I think it smells like cucumber, but it tastes like the cucumber skin. <laughs> It, it it smells pretty decent actually, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. And where's your yeah. sniffer bin? Where's my sniffer bin? 
God. There's only like that much left. I did good. But it's so good for you. Okay, so what time is it? It is 9.06. You know what that means? It's not that bad. Oh, what does that mean? Really? It's time to beat Ed? No. I would beat Ed if I could find my crop. Um, you hit it on me. I I think you hit it not. on me. Hey, hey, easy there, <laughs> buckaroo. <laughs> okay, now. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, he's Thomas. Wait, who? What? Thomas is trying to get on the show. And he said every time he goes, tries to go on, it starts at the beginning. That's weird. Oh, hello, Cristiano. Hey, Cristiano. And Robert. And Wobbit. Wobbit. Yes. So, okay. You, you, ow, dude. What are you hitting me? <laughs> oh, God. It felt like a freaking phone book. <laughs> it felt like it a three inch good. thick, like, <laughs> Ah, the puh. Now face that way. Turn. Ow. Do you see? Yes. What? Okay. What do I see? Right there. You know what time it is? What, this? Yeah. No, it took a... No. This? Oh, this. Duh. Oh, God. And what flavor are you tonight? I am root beer float. Robert doesn't give a shit. You won't if you get an anal piercing. And we're going to say hello. Oh. Joe. That's Joe. Yeah. This is Joe. Hello, oh, Joe. Joe. <laughs> hey, don't, don't pick up. Don't pick up. What? Hey, I'm always kidding. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? We're doing good. How you doing? Oh, not too bad. That's good. You gonna say hello to everyone listening? Hey, everybody on Unusual Radio. I'm glad you could join tonight. <laughs> What's that? I said I'm glad they could all join tonight. Yes. It's always nice to have our friends here. Oh, Absolutely. definitely. When did you call, Robert? He oh, said, you got a lot of people calling in, huh? Lately. Oh, I better know. Yeah, look at that. You look like a uh, Egyptian mummy. That's not a mummy yet. <laughs> or an Egyptian hey, mummy. Hey, mummy. Hey, Tanya. Hey, what? Uh, you know how they said everything's bigger in Texas? Uh-huh. Uh, do you check uh, Ed's rear end? And see how big his hole is don't. now. Oh, dude, you got me like right on a freaking nerve. <laughs> Look, I can't. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to see a sphincter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh. I just thought it'd be funny to call and find out. Yeah. I did take you. my book and wrote in it. The only entry I made was that everything is not bigger in Texas. Fuck this. And then I stopped writing. Okay. I'm just hey, saying. Hey, we will find a good pizza. The pizza. The pizza we had last night? No, in Texas. I didn't even attempt to buy pizza in Texas. Are you kidding me? I worked in Tennessee two years. And folks can make barbecue. They can't make pizza worth a damn. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to find out from you, that's all. Yeah, see that? Yeah, it's, uh, no, I didn't even attempt. It was it was not worth it. Okay, all right. I would have eaten Domino's or, or uh, what's one of those other chains before I would have attempted pizza. Mm -hmm. No, I went out for barbecue. Pizza, uh, something like that, yeah, I know. Oh, no, okay, now, you know how I didn't get my tank? But he did manage to stuff barbecued already cooked food into his suitcase and brought that home yeah 
Did I get my tank? Oh, oh, that's right. No. Um, no. I, I, I don't think so, no. but I'm not sure. But the barbecue made it. The barbecue made it, and it made it through security because they actually opened it up because there were two round things in it that they thought was fruit. And I said, no, yeah. it's not fruit. Uh -huh. Tanya is a Smurfette <laughs> with that thing on your neck, head, head. Yes. I am a Smurfette. There we go. I don't know. You guys are crazy. Walk like an Egyptian. I think it's my new thing. Hey, yeah. that reminds me of a funny story. Oh, oh yeah? Boy. Yeah. Tanya, you... You might remember Al, the Egyptian that used to make the pizza at uh, Brookside Pub. My. No, this is the guy you said Tony. now owns Santon. No, uh, Mr. Asante. No, 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 no. All right, different guy. Yeah, different place. But anyway, he. Uh, was an Egyptian, and we always kidded him. Walk yeah. like an Egyptian. He's like, "Ah, oh, screw you guys. Who the hell are you trying to kid? Oh. Yeah. Nice. See? So. She's going to bark. <laughs> See? I know it. See? Yep. Yeah. No. No. So. Oh, the kids are having a very good time tonight, it sounds like. Mm. They're always having a good time. Dude, apparently I have a new job as a towel. <laughs> so, April, did she answer it like that it hurt and did it make a really loud noise? That's what I want to know. <laughs> did, did what make a really loud noise? The uh, when she cartilage? Got, yeah. I mean, you would think it would have to. You could know, clink. Yeah, c -c 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 I mean, I had it done when I was little, and I just remember hearing clink. I mean, I'm sure it's different now than it was then, but and then the other one, I other ones I did myself. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm not really big on having things wedged through me. Just like the eyeball ones. Hey. The eyeball piercings? No, 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 no. I would do an anal piercing before an eyeball piercing. I would do none. I would say... Well, I would do none too. I would just say, no, sorry. If I had it a choice happen. of having one of those done or die, I'd be like, shoot me now. Uh, let me get a shovel. I'll start digging a hole. Yeah. Then you can get and I want to see you do that. Here, come on. What? Do it up. Do what? The this? Piercing. No, we're not. That's not happening. Oh, but come on. I will do the Smirnoff root beer float. Oh boy! As Lawrence Welk okay. used to say, and a one, and a two, and a... <laughs> and um. enjoy. <laughs> oh, baby, that was good. Was it? <laughs> That's your nostril. Yes, it was. <laughs> well, it's alcohol, so, you know, but it really did taste good. It tasted like a root beer float <laughs> with a little gasoline in it, but, you know. Oh, you know, it, You got to make, uh, you, you know, you got to, you know, concede some things. Uh, Robert says I am now a wet nap. <laughs> Might help if I take the lid off. <laughs> Nice. So, yeah, I think April should call us. Yes, April. Does this thing have caller or call waiting? No. Hmm. No, we're moving. We don't need all the accessory stuff. No, of course not. Until we go. All right, well, let's... Um... That's when we'll have the 800 line. And all oh, yeah. We'll have an 800 line. You know what the number for the 800 line is going to be? 732-560-4398. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. And, it's not. you know, Robert Ruther says, and I agree, the barbecue always has to make it home. 
not for my tea. Well, you know, sometimes... I, I asked for my tank. Did I get my tank? No. Nope. There you have it. What a friend. I, what a friend. What because, a sweet because we talked friend. about it at 10 o'clock. All right. Something happened there and the call ended. Yeah. <clears throat> 732. Uh, I'll type it in. 732 Yeah. Um, Thinks about his stomach, but we all know how he eats. Yeah. I need my tanks because I'm a tank girl. And did I get it? No. No. I, I got nothing. All right, well, we'll be getting a call soon from Hello, Unusual Radio and Anal Piercing Hotline. Hi, guys. Hey, April. Hi. That must be April. She laughed giddily as if... So, uh, you having a good night? Yeah. Good. Okay, now, did it hurt? Hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Oh. Did didn't it, hurt? Didn't hurt at all. Really? Now, did it make a big click noise? No. Yeah. Really? My daughter did it for her uh, 18th birthday. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. See, I'm going to get the top of my other ear down with the bar. Really? So, what's what's the... the up here, the hard part up here. Yeah. You get a piercing down here. No, they're going up here. Oh, the, oh, the, so the yes. top is the, Yes. oh yeah, I got you. All right. I yes. can feel the difference. Just skin and yes. Yeah, so it's something that has to be like a big clink. Ding, yeah, ding, ding. No noise, no nothing. Wow. It didn't even burn, didn't hurt, did nothing. No, it gets infected really easily though. It gets infected? Uh-huh. Infection's not good. No. Not good for Can Eddie. You stop your belching. Sorry, excuse me, I burped. Oh my god. Do you do you hear this, April? Yes. Say now. I sorry, I a pig. We know. And I didn't get my damn tea. Yes, but so, she's getting one from Oklahoma. That's because she loves me. I'm this like, is yeah. true. Yeah, because Robin and his little page that he started, they're making shirts and stuff soon. Oh nice. They're nice. making they're making what t-shirts? Yeah. Uh-huh. Nice. Oh, so you're gonna send one of those? Yeah. You're gonna yeah. send two of them? I will send two. <gasps> oh my god, you guys are the best. <laughs> this little page is kicking off great. That's good. That's what we went and worked on this last weekend. Oh, I gotta go check it out. I, yeah, I haven't had a chance to even look at anything. Did, I, did one of you message me that? Uh, probably. I was so busy with the uh, umpiring down there and the shuttling and all that that um, a, a lot of I was lax on a lot of stuff. Yeah, we know. And I'm sorry. Like I'm my sorry. Tea. Like my tea. Like her tank tea racer tank top tea. So uh, yeah. yeah, sorry you guys couldn't make it. It would have been cool to hang out for a couple hours, but. It uh, was. We went down there, and he actually landed a whole bunch of jobs that we have to go back up there and do and stuff. Oh, you were in that area? We were. No, we were in Arkansas. Oh, okay. Really? Uh -huh. Tanya lived in Arkansas. D Diane. She, oh. D d okay, she said it uh, took two years for her to totally heal. Wow. And she yeah. said, and it hurt like hell. Mine didn't hurt. Mm. Two but years. I had a really I have a really high heart pain, okay, so. Okay. I mean, and I had three kids naturally, so. Right. Oi. Oi. No. I had two. C-section. <laughs> but that wasn't She my... did not want a bowling ball no. coming out of her hoo-hoo-ha-ha, wee-wee, BG. Uh, no. And, I, no. I, it, now, no, it's because that was Stephen's fault. Because Stephen decided <laughs> he was not coming out. He was two weeks late. So, yeah. Wow, that's, uh, Robert wants a hat. I told him we're all out. Or he wants your tank. <laughs> uh, I think your, I think our tank is going to be too big for you. Unless you've got like 38 double D's or something. <laughs> it's just going to hang there like a garbage bag on a, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Such abuse, I tell you. You know? I put up with it too. Don't feel bad. 
say. I'm going to be over here. Uh, Robert uh, Sikorsky says he's going downstairs to the dining room in the hotel, so be as gross as possible because apparently he's still going to be watching. Oh, sweet. So we should start. <laughs> hey, knock it off. Here. Here. Um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just want to get, like, little bee bumps. I want them gone. What about you? Do you like them? Like what? Having boobs. I don't have a lot, so. I don't want a lot. I have too much. They got to go. I've never really had big boobs. Ugh, you're lucky. I, just I wore training bras up until I had kids, so. You had what? What's that? You, you had what till I you said had? I wore training bras up until the time I had kids. Really? Oh. Uh huh. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. No, I always was like was like a B C. You know, it's just gotten a little. I'm gonna try something here. Color. What? What are you gonna try? Um. Thomas says he can't. Um, every time he goes on, it, um, okay, get to the point. What do you call it? He keeps, every time he, they go on a show, it starts from the beginning and I don't know why. So, all right, I that's not going to work there. So I'm going to go into Facebook and I'm going to, um, uh, well, you're going to be singing soon. I'm, I know I'm going to be singing soon. Yeah. I mean, yeah all right. I'll, I'll look at yeah. that later. Yeah. Thomas. Do, do, do you want to uh, sing with, uh, him, April? No, that's okay. I, I really sure? You sure? <laughs> yeah. I, it would, I'm sure. It would it would make the uh solo sound so much better as a duet with someone who probably can actually sing. <laughs> so that's fine. I don't want to sing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it was really good talking to y'all. I'm gonna go because I have to finish cleaning. Okay, well thank you for calling in. I appreciate it. We do. Bye guys. Bye, have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Wait, I'm taking this off. Well, because... Robert definitely doesn't want you to get rid of those. They're going. Those. They're going. Yeah, they're going. What's the matter, puppy dog, huh? I hate them. What do you want? Go. Okay. Go ahead. Because I'm not going to listen to you blowing out my eardrums. Oh. So now you can pull. I can oh, sing? Yeah. I can. Yes. Nice. What are you doing, puppy? Okay, that is not the song. You want me to sing the song right now? Uh, well, yeah, we have to say our goodbyes. Okay, well, we got to say our goodbyes. Um, me, 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 <clears throat> Should I do the heavy metal version? Now it's time to say goodbye. To our friends and family. U N U S U A L R A D. I O. Unusual radio. Unusual radio. Get out of my way. The friendly, the family friendly show for all of your kids. Unusual radio. That was beyond bad. Unusual radio. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now that you Headbanger. Head, head, headbanger music right there, baby. That's right. Anyway. Oh, I think the dogs are drinking. I just heard bottles crack. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. So. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. It was a little slow tonight because I'm really tired. He just got back, so I was like, Bleh. Yeah, I'm on uh, uh, did, jet lag. At least time. we did get in our little anal discussion. Yes, our Friday anal got on tonight. Yes, it did. So that's always a good thing. Yes, it's always a good thing when you get your anal in. That's right. <sighs> anyway, everyone. I'm looking to get my anal in. So 732-560-4398. Oh, All right, right, maybe not. Don't call. Yeah. I, 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 no. Anyway. Okay, have a good night. We will see you Wednesday. Any questions, comments, or anything you would like us to discuss, send us a message, call the hotline, and... We do listen to messages on the phone. Yes. 90% of them are just... Junk. Spam that we delete, but... Yeah.
if someone leaves us a message, we will hear it yes. and we will investigate yes. and adjudicate and adjudicate okay. and replicate. Okay. And okay. And, and goodbye, and, D. And I will fuck a Kate. No, you're going to fuck a pie. Anyway, on okay, that I'm happy gonna, note, pie. everyone have a great she, night. She brought a pie. And we'll up. see you come Wednesday. <clears throat> so, till then. Good night.